as uh, Maureen Cahillan of Cahillan Jewellers, Bandless Law, I would see BACD as a wonderful uh, achievement and a great support to us. It's actually beginning to be a crutch for me and a lot of retailers insofar as we rely on them for new things, new developments, getting together, which is very important. I'm very strong-minded on a community effort and I see BACD continuously bringing us together as they are here tonight at the AGM. They bring great speakers to us and they bring things to us that we would never have known about. In that way, we're developing a more focused outlook for the town. From a business perspective, I would say they have taught people from the surrounding areas of Banlaslow, I would say the hinterlands of Banlaslow, and our own selves in the town to shop local. Anything I can get in the town, I will get it. I don't really have to go out of town for anything. Everything I'm able to, uh, that I need, I'm able to source. That shop local um, project has worked wonders and it did make people aware. You see, people wander off to this town or that town, but they forget and they have to be reminded. And there's something, there's a spark inside of us all that dies and we need to be reignited. And BACD have done that. I would love if people and BACD got behind some kind of a project to give us a little bit of free parking. If you want to drop in to me for a battery for your watch, leave your watch and go, that's three minutes to five minutes and you, you'll have a ticket if you're not careful. Now, the hairdresser is the same, run in, make an appointment, collect the prescription. I have heard many complaints about getting the ticket. Now, I have to say, during the big dig, their community wardens are very, very generous. They have ignored a lot and they're very good. And would you believe it, it has increased footfall, even though we say the town is not doing well. But it has increased footfall and business. Well, I was contacted by somebody in Kilimer uh, recently and they said, we never got the Banla Slow uh, Life magazine. And then I checked with uh, Lynn, but what had happened was, they were all gone. They are like, I don't know what, they're just, I wouldn't be able to get one if they weren't dropped off to me. It's the most, one of the most positive things that has happened to Banla Slow because everybody's looking for Banla Slow Life, everybody's reading it, which is very important. They come in and they say to me, I saw your article, I saw such a person's article, I saw the advert for a sale up the road or down the road. They read it, which is very important. So I'd like to see that magazine growing, but more importantly, remaining.